welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you guys a New Year's Eve glam look. It's going to be full of glitter and shimmer and all that good stuff. This is what I'm finishing the year with. I hope you guys like it. If you guys want to try this look, if it's something you like, please keep watching. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and I just want to wish you all a happy and successful new year. I want to thank you all for all the support. Um, it really truly means a lot to me and I can't wait to see what the next year brings to us and um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next year. Hope you have a good one. Bye! First, I'm going to start by priming my eyelid with MAX Pro Long Wear Concealer. And then I'm gonna apply the buff color from the Lorac Pro Palette 2 all over my lid. Now I'm gonna take Nectar from the Pro Palette 2. It's like a rose peachy color. And I'm gonna apply that on the crease as a transition color. I'm gonna start darkening up the crease with the color mauve from the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm gonna apply that all over my crease with a fluffy blending brush and blend it out. Now, to keep defining the crease, I'm going to go in with the color taupe, which is kind of a light brown, and apply that all over my lid as well. I'm going to go back to the Pro Palette 2 with Plum, and I'm going to start darkening my crease. With the same motions as before, and making sure to blend it out. To make sure it's all blended, I'm just going to take a large fluffy brush and blend it out. And then apply some more to the outer part of my eyelid and keep blending. Now I'm gonna go back again to the original Pro Palette and I'm gonna use Garnet on my crease. I like this color because I feel like it ties in the whole rose gold look together. Now we're gonna move on to the shimmer and glitter but before I do I'm just gonna prime my eyes with the Lorac primer. I'm just using this one because it came with the palettes but you can use any primer you want. Then I just combined the three shadows that I felt would give me a rose gold look. So I took champagne, gold and light bronze. Before the Glitter, I prepped my eyes with a glitter adhesive and then I mixed all these max pigments and glitters to make my rose gold glitter that I wanted. I applied it all over my lid with a flat shadow brush in dabbing motions to make sure it sticks and after that I just sprayed it with some fix plus to help it stay put. When applying the glitter, you might lose some of the shadow on your crease in the process. So I went back in with the color Garnet and defined it a little more. And then I decided I wanted to deepen the crease a little more. So I went with deep purple and stayed right at the crease on top of the glitter. Make sure to blend it all out so it looks nice and blended. Now we can move on to eyeliner. I did almost like an Arabic inspired eyeliner. The upper part and the wing first and then I'll finish the rest later in the video. Now using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Caramel, I'm gonna start filling up my brows. I only use Caramel in the beginning and middle part of the brow and then I finish off the end with the color chocolate to give it that ombre look. Since I already applied my foundation, now I'm gonna go in with the Amazonian Clay Foundation from Tarte in Deep Sand and I'm gonna use that as contour. I started doing this not too long ago and I actually love it because it's really smooth and creamy when blending it out. I really like to use a small stippling brush to blend. I feel it's easier and faster. And then I like to apply my contour a little bit on my forehead, down my nose, down my lips, cheeks, and jawline. I like to blend my nose contour with my fingers because I feel the brushes are a little too big and it gives it more of a natural finish. Then I go ahead and get with whatever's left on the sponge and clean up my contour a little bit to make it sharper. Now I'm just gonna take my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay and I'm gonna highlight my forehead, nose, cupid's bow and chin and also under my eyes. And then I'm just gonna blend it all together nicely with a damped beauty sponge. 
This one is my favorite blending beauty sponge and it's from Real Techniques. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some powder to make sure everything stays put. Here I'm taking the lighter colors from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm applying that wherever I applied my highlight. I'm gonna take this brush that looks like the Real Technic Metallics, but it's not. It was just six bucks at Marshalls. You're welcome. Um, and I'm gonna apply the contour colors all over my contour to set it and make sure it lasts all night. I'm just gonna get some loose powder to clean up that cheek contour. I leave it on for like a couple of minutes, um, cool, cool baking, and then I clean it all up. Now this step is optional but I add a little bit of blush for some color and I use my favorite till this day is the Luminoso blush from Milani. Now with all that powder you might have lost a little bit of color on your wing so go ahead and fix it and then I'm gonna take a small brush, some fix plus on my brush and then I'm gonna dip that in the highlight to highlight the inner corner of my eye and under the brow bone. To highlight my eye area, I just use Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill and Becca and then I use Max Oh Darling Highlighter. Now I'm going in with Garnet again and applying it on the lower lash line and just cleaning up my brows a bit again. And then I just decided to go ahead and finish up my eyeliner taking it all the way to the inner corner and then I'm just gonna take a pencil black eyeliner to finish off the rest in the waterline. Now before I do my mascara and false eyelashes I decided to finish off my face so I sprayed some fix plus all over and then I applied the highlighter to my cheeks because I feel like it sticks onto the Fix Plus and it just holds and looks better. I've been loving gold highlights lately, so here I mixed Oh Darling by MAC and So Hollywood by Anastasia. For mascara, I'm using the new one from CoverGirl Plumpify and I did two coats. Right after that, I did apply some falsies and then I took care of my lower lashes. Moving on to lip, I decided to go for a more softer look so I went with a natural lip color but you can do darker if you want to. I used Lolita all over my lips and then I dab creme creme right in the middle to give the lips a little bit more dimension. And then to finish off I applied some Smashbox Pink Lady Lip Gloss in the center. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a very happy new year and don't forget to subscribe so I can see you all next year. Take care. Bye.